You're watching the world now. The United States says it will complete the withdrawal of its military base from Niger by the 15th of September. The African Coordination Element leader, Major General Kenneth Ekman, says the withdrawal has been done in close coordination with the Niger Nigerian authorities in a safe, orderly and responsible manner. The last major movement was done on the 5th of August when the C-17 left the air base in Agadez. Moyo Thomas reports. Following the order from the military junta in Niger for the U.S. to withdraw its forces from its base in Niamey, the United States says the process is now almost complete. Major General Kenneth Ickman, while giving an update to journalists on the withdrawal, also expressed concern over insecurity in the West and Sahelian region. We've been working with regional partners, regional military partners, on how to address the growing violent extremist organization uh, security problem that comes out of the Sahel. While our objectives haven't changed, and those are shared objectives between the United States and our African partners, they have become harder to achieve. And as I travel around the West Africa region, as I talk to civilian and military leaders, they all share these concerns. If there is one thing that we agree on is the risks involved. And so our approach to this has been to engage with our uh, uh, regional military partners and their civilian leadership, and it starts by listening. General Ickman says the U.S. has no plan for a U.S. base here in Nigeria. But as part of its commitment to fighting insecurity in the region, it has signed some of its forces to other West African countries. Countries where we're having conversations, countries where we have started putting some forces, include Cote d'Ivoire, include Benin, we have some U.S. forces there now. Uh, I'm going to Accra next. I'm keenly interested in what their authorities have to say. It's got to be right for the partner. Uh, and then I was just in N'Djamena a couple weeks ago as we talked about the next phase for the posture of U.S. forces. In all cases, we're starting with just small, small elements, small special operations teams that provide advice and assistance and training to the host nation forces. The withdrawal includes all sensitive and lethal equipment, but non-tactical vehicles, buildings and spaces were handed over to the Nigerian military government. Major General Ikman says there are currently no ongoing discussion on where the U.S. military base will be located, and there was never a time they were in discussion with Nigeria. Muya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja. And in sports, the Nigerian professional